club, where they do their socking indoor style in the State Fairgrounds Coliseum. The Ukrainian sport club in the dark shirts meets the Osea Italia boys for the indoor championship. The action is wild and woolly in the first period as the Ukrainians attack the Italiano nets. The goaltenders are allowed to throw the ball and Marco Petrantonio fires away. This doesn't discourage the Ukrainians in the least for they come storming back. Arrest Pazmaniuch sets up Tom Spratt, but the Italianos have their ideas. A mad scramble ensues as the Italians have a little difficulty clearing. Tom Spratt isn't quite fat enough to pull his way in, but he tries anyway. Marco Petrantonio comes up with the ball after a hectic hassle. Marco takes his time and exhibits his strong right arm again as a couple of the boys need the referee to help them interpret the rules. They get everything straightened out and we're back to soccer. Lou San Biagio uses his head to turn back a Ukrainian endeavor, but not for long. The Ukes have been working on it all evening and their persistence finally pays off. Mike Samochenko left puts one past Marco and the Ukrainians take a one to nothing lead. Lou San Biagio slams the ball at Marco, but only due to the excitement of the heated struggle. The Ukrainians try to add to their lead as they again torment the spunky Italianos. Bill Allison gets off a boot, but his kick goes over the wall for a ground rule double. The skillful Ukrainians, masters of the booting game, demonstrate their offensive tactics. Only a great save by Marco Petrantonio, the hardest working man of the game, can stop the attack. The Ukrainians take charge in the closing minutes, but Tony Hayda's shot hits off the wall. The Ukrainians rebound as usual as Padimiriuch sets up Walt Danchenko for a shot that even Marco can't keep out. The Ukrainian sport club of Detroit wins the indoor soccer championship by shutting out Osea Italia two to nothing.